Yosemite National Park currently looks like this. The park experienced record snowfalls this year, which actually ended up with them having to close down completely for a couple weeks. But now all of that snow has been melting and creating absolutely magical scenes. Waterfalls are more full than I've ever seen them. The valley floor is completely flooded in some areas, which has been creating these unique reflections in many parts of the park. Essentially, Yosemite hasn't looked as flooded and full of life as right now in almost 50 years. Today's video is about trying to share this visual experience with you, but this trip also made me realize a couple things about life in general, so let's talk about it. Okay, so before we get too into how beautiful everything looks right now, let's back up a second because there's a bigger lesson or picture here to this trip that I want to get across. And in order to do that, we have to have a little bit of a backstory. I pulled over on the side of the road. Remember kids, don't vlog and drive. PSA, 2023, we're vlogging safe. <laughs> Here's the situation right now. I am driving from LA to San Francisco. I just got back from back to back to back trips. I was in Utah working on some photo projects. Then I was in uh, San Francisco actually doing a video shoot and then Phoenix doing another video shoot for a client. And I had just got back from Phoenix when my friend Blaine called me and said that him and our other friend Tyler are going to Yosemite this week to uh, shoot the, the waterfalls. And on top of that, they have a backcountry pass to do this hike that just looks incredible. So they asked if I wanted to go. And the only catch was that they were flying into San Francisco. So I'm sitting there and this would mean that I would leave again in like three days, drive to San Francisco to pick them up, then drive to Yosemite with them and spend the week there, even though I'm really behind on all my <laughs> client work. So like any rational, reasonable human would respond to this situation, I said, sure. Despite how busy I happened to be, I knew I couldn't miss out on this experience. I got up really early, drove up to San Francisco to pick them up from the airport, and then straight from there, drove over to Yosemite and made it in time for sunset. Right away, we could tell it was going to be a special week. The next day we actually slept in a little bit because we had a massive hike planned for later in the day, which was actually one of the main selling points for me to go back to the park again, was hiking up above Yosemite Falls, which is the highest waterfall in North America, especially right now when the water flow is higher than it's been in decades, I knew that I couldn't miss this opportunity. I'd seen photos of the view at the top previously and knew that I had to see it for myself at some point in my life. I just didn't know that it would be on this particular day. I also didn't realize exactly what we were getting ourselves into. Like I knew it was a tough hike, but man, it was an absolute leg burner. I don't have the exact stats on me, but I think it was around four miles and a little over 4,000 feet of elevation gain to get to the top. By the time we reached the summit, I was feeling it in every part of my body. But if there was ever a view that was worth the pain, it was this one, trust me.
The next morning, we were lucky enough to wake up and take in that same view again. After sunrise, we made the long hike down and <laughs> Let me tell you, I cannot remember a time before this. I was more happy to be back on flat level ground than when we made it back down this time. We were so tired. I don't even know if tired is the right word, but also it was just so worth it. Tired, but extremely happy. We decided to spend the next couple of days a little bit more relaxed, exploring the flooded valley floor finding reflections around pretty much every corner and even a couple of rainbows. This was easily the most beautiful I've ever seen Yosemite. And that is saying something considering how special of a place it already is. Okay, so takeaways from this experience. First, I think it's really important to live in these moments. And what I mean by that is, initially I had planned to vlog on location while I was there, but to be honest, when I arrived, I just wasn't really feeling it. And I decided I should try instead to just fully enjoy being present in those moments. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves, or at least I do, to make so much content all the time, but you also have to give yourself the reward sometimes of letting go and enjoying rare moments like this as well. And who knows, maybe you'll still come out with a video of the experience like I did here, even though I honestly had decided to not even make a video about this. But after getting back, I realized maybe I could still figure something out. So essentially what I'm saying is just Sometimes don't put too much pressure on yourself, see if a story develops naturally, and just focus on actually enjoying the experience instead of just thinking about the content all the time, especially when it's something of a historical experience like this, you know, like this place hasn't looked similar to this in decades. Like just enjoy being there, you know, look around, you're in this incredibly beautiful place. Second, this trip really reminded me how you have to say yes to opportunities in life. Even if the timing seems too fast or you feel like your life is just all over the place, you have to just say yes and go experience things like this when you can because frankly, none of us are gonna be here forever. And while I hope to have many more years of adventures, it will get slightly more difficult each year that you wait to take opportunities like this. And for some reason, this sentiment is hitting me harder than it has in the past right now. And this trip was just another reminder to go and collect those experiences when the opportunity presents itself. Don't be that person that always says, I'll do it soon. It's almost never going to be a better time to do it later. So go say yes to those adventures now. All right, that is it for today. I hope you're able to get something out of this video, whether it's just an insight into how beautiful our world can be or a little motivation to go chase that next adventure you've been maybe putting off. So if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new videos. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon for the next one. <laughs>